Barns can be creepy spots at times, but not many people expect to find anything of real value or significance in one. They're usually used in farming or for extra storage space, but nobody keeps anything valuable or strange in there. Or do they? Today, we bring you the five strangest things found in barns, and we're sure you'll get a kick out of them. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With that being said, let's begin. Number 5. Meditech Creature Moral Lopez is a rancher who lives in Meditech, Mexico. He had a minor rodent issue in his barn at one point and decided to lay down some traps. Looking through the traps one day, he found something that was definitely not a mouse or a rat. The specimen looks like something from outer space and ended up causing a huge stir on Online when it was first revealed. The man claimed the creature was definitely from another planet and prompted many viewers to come to the conclusion that aliens are most definitely real. The creature was put on display and was quite an impressive sight. Many have claimed from the very start that this creature looked a lot like a skinned monkey, with plenty of skeptics calling the creature a hoax. This was met with a ton of anger and people saying that the skeptics were just being unreasonable and overly rigid in their views. Unfortunately for the true believers, the man who found the creature eventually admitted that the specimen found wasn't an alien at all and was, in fact, a skinned squirrel monkey. Lopez got in touch with another family member, a taxidermist, and decided to have some fun with his friends. He said that he never propagated the hoax when it ended up taking off and never claimed that the creature was alien. One of the people he fooled, he says, spread the story around and caused it to gain so much international and online attention. The story isn't quite true, as it seems that Morau did actually spread the alien story around himself. We can't really blame him though, as a trick like that is too good to pass up in our opinion. The finished squirrel monkey does look amazingly alien, and those taxidermy skills are definitely on point. We don't know where he found said monkey, but we're willing to assume that his work was done in his barn, the very same place the creature was supposedly found. Scientists even conducted DNA testing on the creature while its identity was still up in the air, with all of them coming back as inconclusive which seems to have been part of the plan. The monkey was tweaked to look so strange by cutting off its ears and adding the hair and bodily fluids of a variety of other animals before drying the specimen out and revealing it to the world. This mishmash of random animal DNA served to throw off the testing just enough to ensure that the creature wouldn't be revealed as just an average squirrel monkey. Number four, vintage find in Portuguese barn. A story's been circulating for quite some time that involves a retiree who bought a barn in Portugal at a steal. He was looking to settle down for retirement, and the property was too good to pass up, so he took a chance on it. The issue, however, was that the barn's doors were welded shut and wouldn't budge. Being an aging guy, the man hired a team to open up his doors once the sale had gone through, and what he found was nothing short of jaw-dropping. According to the story, the guy ended up buying a barn filled with an array of classic cars packed bumper to bumper and leaving not much space to even move through. The cars were Aston Martin, Mercedes, and Lotus vehicles for the most part, and their total worth is estimated to be somewhere around tens of millions of dollars at the very least. The vintage cars were covered in thick layers of dust after remaining unused and in storage for so long, but their value can't be hidden, even to an amateur. Many critics of this story say that while the barn full of cars does in fact exist, the other elements of the tale are are more than a little embellished. They say that the owner of the barn was actually a car dealer in the 70s and 80s who kept impressive models for himself in order to add to his already large collection of vintage automobiles. He filled the barn and then welded the doors shut to help protect his investment and deter anyone trying to get inside. The pictures were supposedly taken by the original owner after he decided to brag a little. Regardless of what story you believe, the barn collection is absolutely magnificent for any auto enthusiast. The story the story of the retiree who just happened to cross a miraculous find does add a certain gravity to the images, and we're happy sticking with that one for now, even if the story of the auto dealer is probably more realistic. People love an underdog after all, and an aging retiree stumbling across a treasure trove of vintage cars fits the bill perfectly. If this collection is that of an actual collector, it's no less impressive, and we'd love to get a closer look at all those cars, which will probably eventually end up being sold for a fortune. Number 3. Hookahs and Handguns 
During a routine cleaning session, a homeowner ended up coming across some very strange objects that had been hidden in her barn for quite some time. She raises chickens and decided that she wanted a little extra space, so opted to clean out the barn, which had been mostly unused for the past couple of decades. On top of having to move a huge amount of old hay out of the way, and that stuff gets heavy, as well as sorting through stuff like garbage, tools, and car parts, which are all old barn staples, she also found a couple of objects that were a little Little more surprising. She also mentioned that she has no clue how they ended up in the barn as she's sure she's never seen them before. One of those objects was a 38 Special Revolver. It was wrapped up tight in a random towel and fell out when she was bringing a bundle of stuff outside to get a better look. She says that she isn't a big fan of guns but that her husband has his concealed carry permit so decided that the handgun will make for a solid present at some point. She also found, hidden away in a corner and buried under a pile of hay, a hookah, which she called a bong. She wasn't too far off, as the basic principle for both smoking devices is pretty much the same, albeit with a few minor differences. The most important of those differences is the material burned in them, but either way, a water pipe like that is a strange barn find to be sure. It could be that her son had stashed it away when he was a kid, but he so far denied ownership at any point. Number 2. Bomb Shelter Surprises when a guy bought an old farmhouse, complete with a barn, he had no way of knowing what was hidden beneath that barn. When he opened it up and began taking a look around, he ended up coming across an old hatch half concealed on the floor in the far left corner of the barn. Upon opening it up and shining a flashlight down the hatch, he found out that he had also purchased a fully kitted out bomb shelter without ever being the wiser. The bunker seems to have been around for around 50 or 60 years, and the building record suggests that it was built by Whitaker pools in 1961. The man eventually made his way down into the bunker after ensuring that he had people around him just in case. He also tested the air first to make sure that there was no dangerous mold in the air, which is a distinct possibility. The shelter was in a bit of a state of disrepair with trash strewn all over the place, but a little TLC is really all that was needed to spice it up. By now, the new owner should have cleared it up and done a little more searching, but we haven't received an update just yet. The find was made in Arizona and summertime temperatures can get pretty sweltering, so the guy's hoping he can possibly use his shelter as a place to escape the heat when it begins to get seriously uncomfortable outside during the day. The search and cleanup will take quite some time, as well as updating everything inside the shelter and making it livable once again. You never know when things will go from bad to worse, so having your very own bomb shelter would potentially be extremely useful and would definitely be a ton of fun. So we wish the new owner the best when it comes to fixing his back up. Number 1. Saddle Ridge Horde. We've all heard stories of people finding buried treasure, and we all wish that could be us one day. One couple in California won the treasure lottery and struck it rich out of nowhere one day when they happened to stumble across an estimated $10 million worth of old coins buried on their property. They found a total of 1,427 coins that range in date from 1847 to 1894. Even more amazing is the fact that the coins are in mint condition and were obviously never in circulation. The gold itself is only worth around $27,000, but the date and rarity of at least some of the coins means that they could sell for upwards of $1 million each. That is spectacular, and it seems that this couple is set for life. The stash was hidden in the shade of a large tree they came across, and so far nobody's been able to figure out where they came from or how they ended up buried there. The couple does live in California, right in the heart of gold country, so the possibilities are almost endless. What is clear is that the couple don't want any additional attention and have both opted to remain anonymous so they can continue to live their lives as they always have. They want to sell their coins on Amazon bit by bit using the proceeds to pay bills and donate to their favorite charities. A few coins will be kept as keepsakes but most will end up being an impressive nest egg. The couple also lended a few of the coins out to the American Numismatic Association to display during their national money show. The denominations of the coins in California California at the time they were minted, when paper currency was also illegal, were $5, $10, and $20, respectively. The craziest part is that the barn the coins were found next to had been one that the couples had used for years. The coins were all located in metal tins, one of which was spotted protruding from the ground. By all reasonable estimates, the stash, known as the Saddle Ridge Hoard by the couple, will end up being worth at least $130 million, which is one hell of a lot of 
money. While the property the coins were found on hasn't been made public, the hoard was named after what the couple call the area they were found in, which is dubbed Saddle Ridge. We're sure that there are more than one of them in California, but if you know someone who routinely strolls past a barn at Saddle Ridge, it might be worth asking them for a coin or two, just in case. All right, top fivers, if you haven't already, make sure to visit our other channel, The Brilliant, for even more interesting list videos that'll blow your mind. Oh, but I'm warning you, the videos over on The Brilliant are extremely addicting to watch as well. There will be a link in the description to the channel, so make sure to come and visit us. Or you can go to our latest video popping up on screen right now. Oh, and have you visited thefinestpost.com to enjoy the most amazing articles you will ever get to read? If not, click the icon shown on the screen right now. Anyway, see you soon.